So this is too old! Um... Alright, so you know how I said before, I've yet to see an episode where I'm really annoyed by Lemon Grab, and he doesn't... I think I found the episode. <laughs> I think this finally did it for me. Um... But with that said, it's not... It's is not, it annoyed, or is it just dislike? Uh, it, can it be both? <laughs> well, it can be both. Uh, I mean, okay, let, let's start with the let's start with the story here. Um, Finn's still kind of an idiot. Oh my god! <laughs> like really retreading old oh. water here. Uh, like okay, so since he's broken up or uh, dumped by uh, Flame Princess, um, she uh, he goes with Bubblegum to the the Lemon Kingdom. Is that what's called the Lemon? Yeah. Uh, well, hold on, no, it's no, not. No, it's kingdom. an earldom. It's a what? People keep yelling at us because we always say it the wrong way. The he's because he's, he's uh yeah it's an, he's the Earl of Lemongram. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. The. Lemon place in quotes, which means it can be interpreted however you want. <laughs> um, I'll do my best to remember what people write down. Yes. <laughs> so um, I will not, because <laughs> my memory is like that. I oh, so they know. Yes, I know. I know they know that. At least I remember. <laughs> um, so uh, they go to uh, they go to this place uh, pretty much just as like a dinner or something. Just so, I'm not even sure really what it was. It's just sort of a. What was it actually? Is this just kind of like, like a, a banquet dinner. or something? Well, it it seemed like it was some sort of state dinner, diplomats dinner. Yeah, or something. So, so, yeah, like you said, some sort of diplomatic uh, dinner. Though mostly just she seemed to be the only one not from there. Yeah. Um, but but she created them, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, and Finn is looking to maybe sort of get a relationship going with Bubblegum again, which is. Uh, I kind of rolled my eyes at that, like, you know, come on, didn't we do this? But, you know, okay, so, it goes in, there's, the last time we saw the lemon grads, he ate one. You know, he ate one of him. Yeah. And now there's a giant one, and half of one with a giant bite out of him. So I, I guess we're kind of assuming, like, the other one kind of survived a little bit, or yeah. how he got out, I don't want to know. <laughs> but, uh, uh so, so there he is, and, um... He acts like Lemon Grab, and the place is still scary as hell. And comes across this, uh, uh, Bubblegum comes across this little boy named, uh, with a Lemon Hope. Yes. Is that it? Yes. And, uh, was put in prison just for, you know, kind of being different and playing the harp. And, uh, Bubblegum wants to take him away to the Candy Kingdom where, you know, he, he can be, uh, Play math. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he can play math, uh, and, and he can have fun, he can be a little kid, uh, and, and she can help him grow, uh, but that's unacceptable, so uh, Finn and Bubblegum try to play a prank like they did the first time they came across a lemon grab. Too young. Uh, yeah, and too young, and uh, it backfires on Finn, but it was actually going exactly according to plan towards uh, Bubblegum, because she wanted him thrown into prison, and then... Uh, Lemon Hope can play the flute that causes the Lemon Grabs to come in and free them because they like the music so much, even though it sounds terrible. And long story short, they finally, they, they find a way to escape. Um, all the other Lemon people want, after they're released from their little collar things, want Lemon Hope to get away to sort of be the, you know, like the one who got out pretty much, yeah. you know, just the one to go out and live a good life and come back for them, you know, sort of be like the Moses, the lemon Moses. <laughs> <laughs> Let my people go! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that should oh be hilarious. <laughs> just, just imagining lemon grab as Charlton Heston. Oh my god. <laughs> Someone's got to make that. Deliver my so people well. from bondage! Oh, I would totally watch that. I would too. In like a second. Yes. <laughs> that's yes. that's how you can make Lemon Grab funny again. Put him in the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Actually, guy, you can put him in a lot of film roles, but we're really getting off subject because that can go on forever. I'll never let go. Okay, okay. Sorry. Actually, still one of my favorite things about that movie, Titanic. I'll never let go. Let's go. No, no, not just that. It's the. And they hold his hands. Uh, uh, I'll never let go. I'll never. Oh, help! God, I'm frozen. <laughs> I always wanted to see when she takes the whistle out of the guy's mouth that his teeth are still frozen oh, to it. <laughs> I always wanted to see. Okay, okay, getting totally sorry, Jack. Sorry. Um, 
So why don't you like Lemon Grab in this one? Or why are you annoyed? I think it's... I don't know, where the other ones really had... The, well, hold on, hold on, let's finish up, too. Uh, uh, Finn finally realizes that he cannot be with Bubblegum that age, really is more than number in this case, and uh, that he should try to patch things up with uh, Flame Princess. So, you know, duh. I mean, kind of a no-brainer, but, you know, whatever. Um, I like, though, that he actually has to learn the lesson. It's not just something that is yeah. a natural thing. It's that, oh, that didn't work out. Well, I'll go back to my first love. But didn't he kind of... I don't He's know. 14. Didn't he kind of learn this already? Yeah. He's got to learn it again? Yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah, okay. I don't know what is going on with him. Hormones, whatever. Oh, no, no, no. I, Puberty I was, is, is... Okay, you know, I, I... I really don't get it because... Okay, especially being 14. Especially, you know, being someone who's... Kind of had his heart broken with bubble gum, and then he's got this great thing going with Flame Princess. He fucks up, but then I don't know. She leaves him. He doesn't dump her. So wouldn't there be like some mourning or something? I mean, wouldn't he be kind of sad, or wouldn't it be something kind of? I mean, he just goes immediately. At least you know. That's why as the I'm episode mad at show. Him. Yeah, to trying to get this old flame, no pun intended. And <laughs> of course, she's not going to be interested because. We've already established that. We've done this, and we've stated the exact reason why again. So, so, think back. Everyone that was 14, the moment they got dumped or dumped someone, they didn't immediately start dating someone else. They actually went through a mourning phase. Well, some no, people even do. nowadays. Some people do. I, some kids do. Nowadays, people don't even do that at our age. What? I don't know. Well, yes. Oh, okay, you okay, would okay, warn no. me. No, no, no. Uh, the light no, but that's also a difference to how long we've been together. That's the difference. No, no, no. But no, I, I, I agree with that. But with that said, I don't think her. Uh, I don't think him and Flame Princess were just like. Oh, they just started dating and they're kind of getting to know each other. They they seem like they know each other pretty well enough to put personal things in there that only he would know. You know, that's, they got a pretty tight relationship then. Uh, you know, and, and they're pretty close. If it was just somebody that he's dated a couple times and whatever, you, you came across a bump in the road, yeah, I can understand going to someone. Even honestly going back, uh, you know, to someone either like Bubblegum or trying to find someone different, I can kind of see too. But the fact that there's no, like, it doesn't hit him at all. But I think that's kind of the point is that it's done and over with, he was hurt, and he's like, okay, instead of dealing with the hurt and the suffering, I'm going to quickly jump into some other relationship so I don't have to deal with any of that. But that didn't seem like the focus. It seemed much more like he just really wanted to get bubble gum. It's like, huh, maybe I should try to patch things up. I mean, it was like, I don't know, it seemed very emotionless. And, don't and get that's me my point, is that he's trying to hide and get away from emotion. Do you think they were really... Do you think that was really being shown, though? I mean, I don't know. It's like, it... I but him going back to being a child instead of being his actual age. The whole time that they're together, it's it's like a shot for, not shot for shot, but it's like completely hearkening back to too young. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, he the, even says, you know, like, yeah, like the old days, you know. Old and, and, and I, I, I think he's trying to ignore what he has that feeling these feelings. And immediately going back to the younger times when he was happy, running around just pulling pranks. Hmm. Instead of having to deal with what's actually going on. I don't know, you know, if, if they did something like... Well, first of all, you know, I could see maybe if, like, he tried to recreate so much that, like, maybe he tried to make her 13 again, or something like that. No, but, like, that would really show... No, that oh, would show crap. the obsession. That would show the obsession that he is not ready to let this go. That he is, like, he cannot move on and he cannot accept what happened here it just sort of seems like eh what is come on like things are cool right things are cool it's like I think if you, it seems like it had to go one step further in order to show the real to show what he's running from oh um, see I didn't see that it, to, to me notice even he's a hero even seeing one lemon grab half eaten and the little boy being kicked Lemon Hope getting kicked and his instrument you know trashed and when they're about to be attacked, even when he's getting attacked by them, he never fought back. This whole episode, he was half-hearted. Nothing he did did he do with any full intention of doing anything. And that's what I'm saying. Nothing he did was like himself. 
Normally he'd be fighting. Normally he'd be trying to save the day. He'd be punching these people back. He'd see stuff going on. He'd be like, wait, this isn't right. I should help out. Do you but think- no, he sits down and he says, you know what? Let's pull a prank. I don't know. Do you think that's... I mean, I saw that too, but that it felt more to me like, you know, oh, well, this is just him trying to get back to this. But it didn't feel like... I don't know. The, the ignoring of the true emotions going on... I sound like a... Whatever, a therapist or whatever. But the <laughs> ignoring of the true emotions that, you know, would most likely be going on for his character, it seemed like they just weren't addressing it, which I know is part of the point. Like, well, he wouldn't address it. He would just ignore it. But by the whole episode kind of ignoring it, I, I feel like it's just... The, the epi- Okay, if he ignores it, fine. The episode ignoring it, I think, is a problem. I, I think they should show that this is not being looked at, and that's a problem that he's really not looking at it, where instead they're showing... Trying to recreate the old days is not a good idea. The focus should have been not addressing the emotions that you're feeling about Flame Princess is the issue. Maybe that'll be in the next one. Mm-hmm. You know, well, and, and maybe it will, but... Think about it, too. He lies to his best friend, mm-hmm. hurting Jake's feelings. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. Only is he li- <laughs> and not only is he lying to Jake, he's lying to hurt his feelings, not, not specifically to hurt his feelings, but, I mean, oh yeah, she totes hates you. She hates you. And then, when it is time to save the day, and Flame Princess is like, we have to call Jake, we need to... Yeah, bubblegum. Yeah, or, yeah, sorry, bubblegum. No, 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 that's all right, that's all right. He'd rather have all hell break loose than have to worry about calling Jake and explaining to Jake that, you know, the princess doesn't hate you, I just lied because I want... For whatever reason, decided that this is the new tale I'm going to chase. Mm-hmm. Um, I was very unhappy with him. This I think time. if if they had the obsession, now, I'm not against the obsession. I'm not even against trying to go back to create mm-hmm. the, the the glory days. Because you're right. I think a kid, it, even as you say, even an adult would kind of try to do that, uh, especially after being with someone that they felt so close to. But I think by just by the episode ignoring those emotions, I I, I think we miss something, and I think it's it. It didn't feel intentional, and maybe it was, but I'm trying to look at even if that was sort of the point. It's like, I want to see... It just makes him look shallow and jerky. Well, that's kind of what he is, though. At this point in time, that's kind of what he is. I I don't think he is. No, I I think he is a good kid, and and he he, he, he is a hero, and and he's had really, really, you know, good thoughts for other people. He wants to help people and stuff like that, and he wants to do what's best for himself and others. Uh, So I can't see him just straight up ignoring this and just acting like, well, this is normal. I can see him ignoring it and then realizing this is really a problem. I should address this and this is bad. I've caused some bad stuff. Where in this one, sort of like, yeah, maybe I should do that. I don't know. You know, where it's, I don't know. It's, I, I felt they could have gone further with it. See, and to me, I guess, looking back at anything, even friends fighting or whatnot, if they tried to turn it into some obsession, that's different than what most people go through. Wanting to go back and kind of relive or try to reignite with an old flame or whatever, it's not necessarily an obsession. It's just kind of longing for simpler times, longing for better times, where things weren't as complicated as they are now. And I think drawing more attention to it, like focusing on that, I think would make it even more awkward or more bizarre or more strange or not as natural. To this, I see him having a fight with a friend and saying, fine, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hang out with you. I'm going to go hang out with blank because I used to have more fun with them beforehand mm. when we played Tonka toys. Okay. So you yeah, go that- back and you hang out with the person playing Tonka toys and they're like, dude, I don't play this stuff anymore. I'm kind of done with that. I've moved on. And then he's like, ah, crap. You're kind of right. You know what? I need to fix up my friendship. And that's what he does with Jake. He says to Jake, yeah, I need to fix what's going on with Flame Princess. Okay, even what you just did there, though, by saying, you know, if there was a scene where he's trying to talk with Flame Princess and she won't answer, and he yells, fine, you know what, I'm going to go with Bubblegum, because that's that's what I remember, those are the good things. That at least would be him showing some emotion, showing some remorse, even if it's just for a couple seconds. You know, but, but you don't get any of that. See, I didn't need that, though. I kind of, to me, I guess it was implied. Like, for me, it was just like, I kind of accepted that that's what was going on. Like, he said... At the end of, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Frost, Frost and Fire. Fire. Yeah. He's like, you know, I blew it. I screwed up. I messed up. And she says, I need time alone. And I, I don't know, like, I guess if we saw him trying to call, he would look desperate and pathetic as compared to someone who's just trying to move on. 
or try to ignore what he's feeling. But that, but that is desperate and pathetic. <laughs> every, every, don't, everybody goes yeah. through it, but it is desperate and pathetic. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not arguing that. And I think they, I'm guessing, of course, they weren't going for the desperate and pathetic route. Mm -hmm. They were going for someone who's just trying to ignore the past, or ignore what just happened, and trying to go back to a simpler time. I'm just guessing. And it, it could and be. And I'm I, right. <laughs> nice. You know, I, I think especially after writing the last episode with him saying such hurtful things to suddenly yeah. have this episode yeah. be right after it's um i can't quite see it working the other way either but to have this be immediately after that it just yeah. they don't go well together in making him look if there was an episode in relatable. between it probably would have been a little bit smoother of a yes. transition. yeah uh, or yeah. even i was saying uh too maybe there's an episode after that sort of shows the morning and how he screwed up and then how it affects him which is like if they do that Fair enough, you know, at least they're addressing it, but I really feel there should have been something, even if it's just for a few seconds, even like what you just said there, of him trying to, to talk with, with her, and then just saying, you know, heck with it, maybe you can make something funny out of it, but just showing that there was, that emotion was there, and he was confused by it, and now he's taken this route, by just starting out in that route, and never addressing the, the actual hurt that he went through, uh, and, and not letting us see the hurt at all. See, I saw that at the end. When Did he you? said, when he said at the end, I really need to patch things up with Lame Princess. Just the way he said it, he's like, I screwed up. I really need to patch things up with her. And he's like, Oh, too bad. She already has a girlfriend. And his face is like, What? He's like, oh, I'm just kidding. Mm. And he's like, Uh, I got the hurt and the emotion right there just from that. Okay. I mean, they're, they're fair enough. I, I needed more, but like you say, to you, you felt like it was very. It was very much implied. It was much more subtle that way. So That's my it could guess. Be. I do like the idea. I like the idea of trying to go back and relive, you know, like you said, the old days, the glory days. Uh, you know, thinking that, well, no, this person had this, or they, uh, all I need is this element, but it's it's not the things. It's not the people. You know, it's himself. That's yeah. what needs to change. Yeah. Um, so I did like that idea a lot. Uh and I'm not against it. Like I said, it's just the the tentacles of it. Um, well, no, I mean Finn is kind of being an ass. Hmm. And it's just kind of the, yeah, he's kind of being an ass, but that's Finn now. <laughs> Get used to it. Um, I don't like this Finn. <laughs> well, let me talk a little bit about the lemon grant, because that's what I start off with this episode with, so I should probably end with yeah. AOY. Why he annoyed me in this one. Um, I think there's just, maybe, maybe it is the delivery, maybe it's just a little too much of him, but there's something about in this one when he was... Some of the yelling and screaming did still make me laugh. You know, my pud! You know, I liked the pud! I mean, that was pretty funny. But may maybe I'm finally just getting too used to the screaming, and I'm... The, the fresh delivery of what inflections he would emphasize and which ones he would not, and how long he would emphasize it, and, and even in the one vowel where he would emphasize it, to... I mean, like, you would just never know where that voice was going to go, and it's feeling predictable now, and I, maybe that's the reason why, um, and, uh, it's not, like I said, and some things I liked seeing back again, I love seeing that weird thing that peeled the open again, just peeled. going, lunch, or dinner, or whatever, yeah. um, and there's definitely some good laughs in it, too, but yeah, I think this was fine at the point where it's like, I think I'm... I think I'm kind of getting done with Lemon Grab. <laughs> Do you think, though, it could be because the rest of everybody else in the kingdom was doing the Lemon Grab voice? I don't think so. No, because actually them, I didn't mind too much. And maybe because he was... I don't. Th I don't were think... different versions of a Lemon Grab type voice. Um, they didn't bother me too much. Actually, in fact, I liked it when they were... When the collars were gone, they were stacking up trying to get... Oh, uh, uh, trying lemon to get, what was it? Lemon Hope. Hope. Uh, lemon Hope out. I, I like that. Um, and I kind of felt for them, too. You know, like, they're, no, we're going to help you. Please just go make something, be something. You know, we're, we're gone. We got that, but you don't have to be. And I, I sort of felt that. I sort of actually legitimately felt that. Um, and I've seen Lemon grab a jerk before, you know, so I, I don't but think not it's to like this he's, level. Yeah, I mean, this was I, mean I, I, I was sort of debating that, too. It's like, is it because he was just so mean and so unlikable? But it's like, He's been pretty mean and unlikable before, but yeah, there's just well, there's something about there's this something one. There's something sinister. I mean, he's eating his own twin in a sense. But he kind of did that before, he's getting, and we laughed. I, I mean, no, but cause... this part though, he's getting fat off of his twin, who uh -huh. is now. I mean, well, not just uh... well. Okay, so we find out that he's been created, and he's kind of a weird fellow. He just wants people around him, so Peebles creates another him for him. 
Oh my god, happiness ensues. Well, not really, because they start to create more and more and more people. Mm. He likes giving life and creating life and all that stuff. But now what happens? He no longer cares about giving life. It's all about him eating all the food. I was just going to say, it used to be he would do stuff wrong and angry and stuff, but he was doing it for what he thought was the right reason. Here he clearly knows this is not the right reason. He's just being a jerk. Yeah. And with the Grables, when he eats his brother, the thing is with the Grables, it's a, is it real? Is it not real? Yeah. Are these just kind of stories? So it was kind of like when you saw it, it was kind of like, oh my god, that's funny and that's crazy. Yeah. But now you see the aftermath that, crap, that happened. He actually ate part of his brother, yeah. including part of his head. <laughs> And he's gotten huge, and he's stealing from everyone's plates. Yeah, yeah he's and just... I think you're right. I think he's Marvin is just... just sin, he's just so evil. Yeah. His one brother takes the bread and just hands it yeah. over, even though he's completely like skin and bones, pretty much. He still cares about the actual citizens. Yeah. And in the end, he's like, oh, acceptable. And he's like, acceptable. Yeah. You know? And then he's consistently kicking the little kid, mm. destroys his harp, and then kicks him two or three times. I mean, no, like, Lemon Grab has become, like, evil. Like, an evil ass, an evil, greedy jackass. Yeah. I think greedy it, is, is, you hit <coughs> it right there. I, yeah. I, I think it's sort of a mix, where it used to be, I think part of it is time has passed, and I'm just sort of getting used to the voice, and the other is that, yeah. um, it, that he is such an evil person. I mean, he's like your traditional villain. Yeah. Um, because I'm saying to myself, if you start off with that, with this character, like, whatever, episode one or two, okay. you know, or, or, or whatever, it's like, I'd still probably laugh at him because the delivery is so strange and how he's such a child, he would kick, you know, the boy over and stuff, but, yeah, I think because I've gotten so used to the voice and he's just so unlikable now. Because um, before it was, like, ignorance. Yeah. You now know, he I mean, knows what's going on. Yeah, and he's just going to be a jerk, yeah. So. And what about the one thing you noticed in the bathroom? <laughs> yes, I was going to talk oh, about oh that. My okay. God. I'm sure other people know this too, but the toilet has the uh, has juicer. the sharp thing, yeah, yeah, the juicer that you usually take a lemon and, and you know, juice with, you, you know, you put in the middle, and that's in the <laughs> toilet, and... I just don't want to know how that works. <laughs> I'm sorry, do they get through and just kind of start like... Is he a oh, oh, my God. God. No! <laughs> no! Here's so, lemon juices. Do, do they have help? Do they have someone turn them around? That's, yeah. They, no, no, you know what they do? They turn and push. They turn <laughs> and push. Oh. Um, I like it. <laughs> so. Let's get one installed, sweetheart. You're wearing yellow. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you yeah. You get on that, um... Get on the toilet. Yeah, we'll get on it. Oh my god, it. that's yeah. a really Sit good idea. Spin. Such a good idea. Finally she's gone. God, why is she always in these now? I don't know. It's almost like her husband asked her or something. You know, what an ass. Even when she's like, I don't want to. It's like, she's just doing it so that you'll insist more to make it look like it's your idea. When yeah. Clearly it's hers. It's not working, Jory. I have a feeling this one went on way too long. What is she doing on that toilet? I think she just juiced this herself. This is really, really painful! That's what a juicing jewelry sounds like. She will not be returning. 